Så er der noe slå i. Det er demonstrasjon. Det er demonstrasjon der. Det er liv. Det er liv. Det er liv. Det er alt der. Og det er viktig. Og det er så sier. Fordi det er en annen spirit i her i dag. Det er en annen spirit. Sånn de er en annen spirit i dag. Fulgt. Men det er en annen spirit. Jeg har prøvd 40 minutter i dag, og jeg måtte stoppe. 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 Jeg måtte Uh, very difficult to preach men, men var på because there was, a, there was a heavy uh, atmosphere, so, was a tung atmosphere at least on me and but you see when you are dealing with spiritual things and the word of God is a spiritual thing it's not a natural book it is the living Word of God. It is something that is alive. It is real. It is full of power. And it is full of life. And, and, and uh, when you start to enter into realms of the Word of God, where you are stepping into the devil's territory. <laughs> you will face opposition. You will face a war. There will be a battle. You say, well, I don't feel such battle in my Christian life. Well, then I question your Christian life. Because if you're not having persecution and opposition you are not walking where God wants you to walk. Everybody who lives godly in Christ Jesus they shall suffer persecution. That's the word of God. And so when everything starts to go really well in my life then I start to question myself. If I'm not stirring up the devil's kingdom then I'm not fulfilling my purpose. God has called me to be a warrior. He's called you to be a warrior. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. Paul the Apostle called Timothy a soldier. We are told in the word of God to put on the whole armor of God. Why do we need armor? If, if we are not in a war, we need the armor because there is a war. Glory to God! There is a fight going on. There is a battle going on. And people like to tell me, and they've told me many times over the years, I don't believe what you're saying. Because when Jesus was on the cross, and he hung there between heaven and earth, he said, it is finished. So there is no more battle. Because Jesus said it was finished. Jesus didn't say anything about the battle being finished. The old covenant was finished. Because when Jesus said that, then the earth began to quake. And the veil in the temple was opened. Which made an end of the old and the beginning of the new. That's what was finished. The old order was finished. He fulfilled it by becoming the Lamb of God. But the battle still goes on. There is still a war. But through the cross of Calvary, I have been equipped with all of the weapons that I need to get through this battle and reach it to my destination. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what this battle is all about. Because we need to understand 
why it is that the closer we get to the coming of the Lord the battle the spiritual warfare that we face and that we will face is going to become more severe it's not going to become any easier you may as well accept the fact that the closer we get to the coming of the Lord your spiritual warfare is going to intensify the opposition against the truth is going to become greater the war against God's people is going to become more intense and that's why God wants to raise up his army of believers he wants to speak to the dry bone in the valley of Ezekiel hallelujah Ezekiel was caught up in the spirit and he was taken to a big valley and it was full of bones there was a skull over there and an arm bone over there and leg bones over there it was chaos and confusion and God said this is Israel this is my people this is how they look confusion Nobody knows who's the head. Nobody knows who's the foot. The body is in disarray. Everything's scattered all over the place. We don't know if we're up or if we're down. We don't know if we're Pentecostal or Baptist or Lutheran or Charismatic, or, you know, we gotta call everything something. <laughs> we always have to net call everything. <laughs> we, we, gotta, we gotta put a name to it. Oh, I don't, I don't see that in the book. Of Acts. I, I don't see all the divisions of the church. There was a body that had everything in common. They were all one. Praise God, because they serve one purpose. One goal, one God. One goal. And as time went on, man got involved. Everything started to split up. Today, we have a church that looks like the Valley of Ezekiel. Dry bones everywhere. And the Lord said to Ezekiel, This is my people. Can these bones live? Can the Hezebine live now? Ezekiel goes walking around the valley and he goes only you know that I can't answer that question when I look at the body of Christ and I ask that question can this body live again the only thing I can say is God only you know but God spoke to Ezekiel and he said prophesy over these bones and the word prophesy means to speak under divine inspiration to speak by the Holy Ghost to speak under the anointing oh the church of God today needs some voice you are inspired inspired by God inspired by the Holy Ghost voices who will stand up and start prophesying over the dead bones and say dead bones to day day of mine. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the 
Hoe kan een dicht bijen hoeren? Dead bone, dead bone, kick a skull. Dat was spars kan dat skaf. It goes like a football. Ah, weet je maar fout was dit? Just rolling. Oh, een luchtklapper. Empty, tunnels, lifeless, lifeless. No tongue. Or on your tongue. No sight. Or there on your show. No breath. Or there on your hand that drops. No hearing. The whole thing off. Just a dead fella. Skull! Skull! Hear the word of the Lord! Hear the word of the Lord! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! How can the bone hear the word? Because it's not a bone to hear the word of God. Because, make that this. Once upon a time, I know fear. That bone so lived. So lived, yeah. That bone, yeah. Bones Bein are evidence a prick of previous life. Um, yeah, yes. on the Louis. Yeah, they lived before. They lived to your fear. They walked before. They drink your fresh. They breathed before. Yeah. They, were they, they were a nation of God. They were before. Were a God's child. And God, oh, God had put his call upon them. He come yes. for his young. Yeah. He, he had placed his name upon them. And now we can't play with it. And even in their dead state. Oh, and that was in a day you stood up. That name was still so there. So their name was still there. That call was still there. Yeah. That, yeah. that anointing was still there. That song was in their head end. And when Ezekiel said, Boom! Hear the word of the Lord. It was the call of God so that could hear. So could hear. It was yeah. that name upon them that could hear. Oh, his brain in the belly of a rooster. His head went to the neck bone. Oh, oh, sculpted him for knee, knee, oh, 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 and all the bones came together. <laughs> and they stood up. You know what it says? Not as a mighty church. Not as a mega church. Not as a mega But it says they stood up. as a mighty church. God wants to raise up that army. God will raise up an army. Out from your death. Out from to your day. Out from your place of dryness. Out from to your torrents. The call of God remains on you. So be it. God's call to be on the here to us. The call from eternity past is still on your bones. Kantle for all like on some fair in here. On here, stand like on the October Bible. And that call is going to hear the inspired prophetic word of God. Kantle for all the hold that is inspired and has God. And it's going to respond to that word. And it's fair to act it. And you will find a shaking taking place inside of you. So you will find a new life taking place inside of you. Praise God so that you once again can stand up and be what God originally called you to be. An army! Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Okay. Okay. Hallelujah. I need this. Metal right there. Can it be moved? Can't it be dust? Well, oh, it's stuck. Could be arranged. Well, then, Miss Carla, do me a favor. Move all these plants away, because I'm going to make a demonstration. If you're doing a demonstration, I need that chair. That one. All right. Yeah. This will be fine. 
Go with me in your Bibles to Ezekiel chapter 28. Do I need this microphone? No. Yeah, you can hear me well. You can hear me on the door. Amen. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 28. Now the last uh, night. We've been talking about the, the tabernacle of David. So how it was on tabernacle David. We've been talking about the uh, heavenly throne room of God. So how it was on him as the room God's. Where the throne of God and the Lamb is. And the throne of God's and Lamb is. And the glory of God. And the glory of God. The four beasts. The four and the four elders. The and the day. And night, or there or not, worship till the engine uh, to the God that sits on the throne. Till King David came along, also King David, and he had he had a vision of this uh, heavenly worship. El has him as go till the engine to be practiced down here on earth. El has to practice here as here near the earth. Praise God, and he has uh, set up. A, a tent, a, a, tent up, a tabernacle, a tabernacle on, Zion. on Zion. Praise God, up here in heaven, it's also on heavenly Zion. He put the ark of God in there with the cherubim, the mercy seat, and the glory of God. And he placed uh, singers and worshippers all the way around the ark. And they worshipped God 24-7. Hallelujah! Oh, glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, just like they did in heaven. And the Lord promised us in Amos chapter 9 and verse 11 and Acts chapter 15 that in the last days God was going to raise up again the tabernacle of David in the midst of God's people. Once again a place is going to be established where God is allowed to be God. Where God will be worshipped as God. Where God will be worshipped as God. Where He will be respected. Where He will be honoured as the King. Where He will be lifted up. And loved. And adored. And adored. Creation or bad people that God has called and chosen for Himself. This call is not for everybody, it is for those upon whom His name has been spoken. Says in Acts chapter 15, so he said he raise up again the tabernacle of David tabernacle that has fallen down. So Praise God, he said he will raise it up so that the remnant so at of the Gentiles upon whom God's name is called. Would be drawn in. Hallelujah. And we are in these days. We are in the last days. We are in the season. Where God is birthing this. Into the hearts of this one and that one. Where God's people are feeling a burning hunger. Oh, a burning hunger. A desire for the presence of God. Not just for a church. Hallelujah. Hey! Hallelujah. Can I be honest with you? Can I be honest? I'm sick of church. No, I'm trucked, brother. Trucked, brother. It's trucked, brother. Sankum. 
I'm tired. Is it so tired of this? I was near going to church. Yeah, no very amount. Singing my three songs. Oh, it's got three to three to sing. Cheers. Taking the offer. So the hard offer. Listen to twenty minutes of boring sermons. Sir, the children are sitting around on chairs. Where I just want to go to sleep. Is that so much? And you're looking at your clock like, well, is it over yet? Well, my, my spirit, spirit, he got the clock and you see, yeah, got a new. If that's the way you feel, well, I'm to have done. when you go to the house of God, something's wrong with the house of God. So it yes. yeah. If that's what you experience, well, how did that all when you go to your spiritual home, so I do that it's then something's wrong in your spiritual so home. Have it an have it. Because she, we should be walking in those doors, so so I that I and the dancing our and feet. Those we dance the oh, God. And a longing for God. We have a long snare to go there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But we find it so difficult but it has a to song. even get to church on time. And we don't have that. Kind of respect. It has a that respect for, for God's presence. <laughs> okay, I'll preach to the wall. Okay, if I read under touchy subject. To talk about being on time and for a while. I lived here four years. Yeah, here. And I fought this problem for well, four artists, years. Are, we had a problem. Why Kui. can we not respect God enough that we come to his appointment without him waiting for me? Hallelujah. God is looking for people who are going to be excellent in their service to him. Who are excellent. Who are skillful. So, so do what I who give it all. So, because of their honor. Their love. And yes. their yes. their desire. Yes. Their, yes. Desire, yes. their yes. hunger. Yes. For the living God. Yes. Hallelujah. So. so okay, just put that under your chair. Okay? Don't let that bother you and, and ruin the rest of your <laughs> service. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is being raised again today. We are seeing it in our own lives. We are seeing it in our church. I know others have seen it in their churches. Where this, this war and this worship is going on. You wake up with war and worship. You wake up with war and worship. Och så kommer det där igen i krutchen och till mig. Och så kommer det där igen i krutchen och till mig. Och så kommer det där igen i krutchen och till mig. Och så kommer det där igen i krutchen och till mig. Och så kommer det där igen i krutchen och till mig. Och det är en kontinuerlig placering av Gud på hans tron. Och han håller att mamma sätter Gud på tronerna. Kingdom come. Kom, rujke, tutt, kunga dem. Det vill bli gjort. Vill du ta in händer? Vill du ta in händer? Ja, gör det. As it is in heaven. So Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay. Now. No. I'm going to take you on a little journey. A very exciting journey. And we're going to wind the tape. Och vi får spola man i efter. All the way back to eternity past. After the hour like I'm some fashion. Because this. Do you hear that? Is where that. All started. And if we can understand where it all started, we can understand what our battle is. So when we shield your heart, part of your heart, you're on. Hallelujah. All right. Can someone get me some water, please? Praise God. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Are you all there? Are we? Is everybody happy? You're up now. Exodus 28. No. I mean, sorry, Ezekiel 28. Ezekiel of the Joel. I'll show you often to share your word. Praise God. I'm going to start reading in verse 13. If I let you earn that. Thank you, Jesus. 
Uh, Rama, do me a favor and wipe all that off the board for me. Yes. Because I'm going to use it again. All right. Verse 13. This is talking about Lucifer. Here om Lucifer. And it's a, an amazing, incredible picture. Och det är en fantastisk mynt. Of what God has given us in eternity past. Av vad Gud har betyvit oss i allvägen som färre ner. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Verse 13. Tänk Thou has been in Eden. Och i Eden. Orsakaregods. The garden of God. Buet hu. Every precious stone was your covering. Allt syns dyre steinar. Var det klart ni gjorde det? The sardis, topaz, diamond, beryl, onyx, jasper, sapphire, emerald, carbuncle and gold. Carneol, topaz, jasper, så kryssar vi till show. Yeah, all those stones. That's a beautiful study, but not tonight. Det är en fantastisk studie, men det är kvalt. Basically, it's telling us that Lucifer was Lucifer was covered in the majesty and the glory of God. Yes. The name Lucifer means the star of the morning. He was an incredible angelic being. He was powerful and he was the highest of all the angelic hosts. And this is an explanation of him. The workmanship of thy temperance and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Trummer och flöjt och tynnar stod i fotton arbetskött här han där du var skaptor stod här till rejar. In other words, he was created with music. Vi gör en ordentlig, han var tonläggare han var skaptor. He was a musical creature. Han var en tonläggare i skaptor. I like to think that he was the music director of the heavenly host. Ja, hon skulle vara han, han var en tonläggare lejar i utland här i mansen. He had the tabrets. Och han hade en trummel här. Which is like a beat. Och han nådde takten han. And he had the pipes. Och han hade flöjten här. He had both sides of music. And he bow a swing that out. The wild and the soft. The vitla and the stitla. Because he had the war and the worst. So he had a crutch on a tilt. He had the war and the worst. He had the crutch on a tilt. Oh my God! Yes, he did. Yeah, that's right. And I know we had the war. Wait, wait, I have it. In the next verse. Well, that's the order. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Du är själva vår kyrkor som gav lövd. And I have set you so. Och jag har sett det. My scholar, come back here. This here. And here. Is the throne of God. The throne of God. And this is God sitting on the throne. Och här är God som sitter på tronen nu. And God made this creature called Lucifer. Och God skapade den här skapningen. Kan det vara Lucifer? He was a not just an angel. Han var inte bara en angel. But he was a cherub. Men han var en kyrkju. Cherub of warfare spirits. Kyrkju är en kyrks andar. Their particular ministry and job is to war. Och den här speciella arbetet är att at Kruchas. And we just read that God made him a good covering chair. A good journey as on until that on the Kuru of the throne of God. And that word to cover. What they had already a decade here that you have lost to defend. It means to fight. It means to fight. So God said, Lucifer, your job is to worship and to war. If anything should come against my throne, if anything should oppose my holiness, if anything comes to defile my presence, let your wings cover my presence, defend my presence, and be a warrior. This was Lucifer's responsibility. This was his job. Then it goes on to say. This was his job. Then it goes on to say. 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 And you've walked up and down in the 
midst of the stones of fire. Här gick du upp och ner i mitten skitjade steinar. Right. Eller eld steinar stod det och en skum. The mountain of God. Här det här går fjärd. Here we see it again. Here should have that turn. Fine. Sion. Praise God. On top of the mountain of was the throne of God and the Lamb. Praise God. Lucifer, Lucifer was the great covering chair that covered the throne of God with his mighty outstretched wings covering God's presence defending God's presence worshipping God's presence and then God said you were on my holy mountain and there were all these stones of fire Steiner, shit on Steiner. Praise God. And that word stones is the Hebrew word eben. And eben means to bring forth children. Oh, these stones of fire was you and me. These stones of fire with the living spirits of the ones that God had called and chosen to live on his holy mountain we're not talking about time we're talking about before time began we're talking about back in eternity past when there was nothing but God and his holy mountain and his angelic creation and his master plan for all humankind for all humankind see you may think that you started when your mommy and daddy made a little body that's not where you started amen that's just where your shell started. But when that shell was formed, God took one of those stones. So take a good and a stone long. And he put it inside that embryo. Hallelujah. He breathed into you a spirit. See. You can kill my body. Yeah. Because my body came from the dust of the earth. Oh. But you can't kill my spirit. Oh. But my spirit came from oh. God. I was somebody who shouted. Oh. 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 His called and his chosen. Yes. There are many called, but there are few that are chosen. These were the called and the chosen. Yes, it is. These were seeds of fire. Of fire. Spirits, Andar. living, breathing spirits, that were living in the glory and the presence of God. So what we have here are some other gods. This is why people that are called at, and chosen, when they come into God's presence, it's like shh, oh, 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 I recognize this. Yes, I understand this. I've, I've arrived where I belong. Because your spirit has a recognition of the presence of God. Yes. Okay. Now, am I making sense of so it? Uh, hold, you, hold your thought right there. Uh, uh, and you stay right there. Uh, uh, hold your finger in Ezekiel. Uh, uh, in the middle of Ezekiel. And go to First Peter chapter so, 2. Philip Woo! Yeah. Bless the Lord of my soul. Yeah. Go to First Peter chapter 2. Philip 
Just so you know, some people get a little crazy because no, I right? preach a lot from the Old Testament. So I'm trying to show you what I'm preaching in the New Testament. So Just so you don't get uh, confused. First Peter chapter two. And let's read here. Let's hear. Oh, this is so good. Yes, yes. Oh, in verse 5, First uh, Peter 2, 5, Ye also as lively stones. You know what that lively is? Fire! Stones of fire! He said you as stones of fire. Som eldsteiner, lærte det kom. You are built up a spiritual temple. Bygge op et andet tempel. A holy priesthood. To offer up spiritual sacrifices. Det er fra andre offer. Acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Som vi er skrevet tak nås godt. He said you, Tid, the people of God. Hvad godt? Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, bless the Lord. Yes. You are the fiery stone that God has called yes. built together yes. 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 into a temple yes. into a temple yes. into a tabernacle. Yes. 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 A few verses down. No, in verse nine. In verse nine. He said, "You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you may show forth the praises of God." When is the last time you showed for mm. Hallelujah. the praises of God? Goods. When is the last time you had a good Holy Ghost demonstration yeah. of being a living stone? Yeah. Of being a living stone. Of being a living stone. Oh. Well, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. how old is the machine guy? Wheat in Virgil. They're Urbus. Some years ago, when I first started coming to the world, when I first started coming to the world, and it's nice to see familiar faces. <laughs> it's really good to see you. These guys used to come to church and hear me preach when I was young. <laughs> and smaller. But it's really good to see you. Praise the Lord. But back then, you know, I was also at that point trying to crank the wheel of, 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 of the people of God <laughs> and say, come on. I say, come on. Let's get with it. Let's worship. Let's get on fire. Well, I did that for a few weeks. And I had a brother come to me. And he sat me down. And he said, you have to understand. We in the Faroe Islands, we are not like you. And I said, what do you mean? Well, we are reserved. And, and we don't demonstrate. It's just the way we are. And I don't believe God requires this of us. I said, oh. That's right, I said. Okay. God made another Bible for good, the Pharaoh Islands. Good, 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 good. <laughs> a different law book. An, 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 an. Where is it? Well, a few well, days later, it was Olaf. So what Olaf? 
<laughs> and I was sitting in a home. The windows were open. It was a lovely day. And I heard with these ears. Whistling and stomping and clapping and shouting. Scrooge your roll or flight or Jane. And I went to the window. And I said, What's that? Oh, that's the down at the harbor. They're rowing the boat. Oh, the <laughs> and, 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 and everybody's excited. Well, and I said, Oh, all those people must be foreigners. <laughs> and he said, No, 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 I thought you told me that Fair Islanders did not do that. <laughs> that was the end of the argument. You will do what you are excited about. You will give to charity to what your heart is passionate about. You will express when you are in love, when you hunger for something, when you, you desire for something, there is nothing going to stand in your way. We are shouting for your team. Your team is winning. You are 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 No more argument about that. So, <laughs> and you know, when I, I see uh, uh, Faroese gentleman, drunk, you walk around town, do you know that they act the same way as a drunk man in America? They act just the same. Yeah. Ach, girl, do you? <laughs> and you can go to any country and it will be just the same. Because when you are intoxicated, all culture goes out so the window. All your fear goes away. And God wants us intoxicated. God wants us with His holy power. And with the Spirit of God. Be filled with the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Back to this. So it says that Lucifer was on. The holy mountain of God. Han der og hans nye hele er fjætlig gud. This is beautiful. Og hans nye bjergre. Covering chair. Til dækkende kilobren. It says in in the next verse. Det er det næste ord der. You can sit down for now. I'll bring you back. Det er bare det bare. Thank you, Lord. It says in the next. Well, let's read verse fourteen again. Det skulle det sætte fyrsten der ordet efter. And you are the anointed chair that covers. Du er sådan en kilober som gav løbet. And I've set these souls. You were upon the holy mountain of God. And you have walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Now, I want you to go with me to a scripture. Go to Isaiah chapter 14. Is anybody learning anything? Yes. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 14. Says we're strong. Woo! I love the word of God, don't you? It's good, it's good, it's good. good. Alright, let's read here in verse 12. How are you fallen from heaven? Lucifer. still of heaven or Lucifer? Son of the morning. Louis son the morning. How are you cut down to the ground who did weaken the nations? For you have said in your heart, I will ascend up into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. 
um, uh, which lets you know that, that Lucifer that had a throne. We are on Lucifer Heia and that's your name. He was a commander in chief. He was a very potent, powerful cherub. He had angelic hosts under his command. No wonder a third part of heaven followed him. He said, but how are you cut down? And this is what Lucifer said. I will ascend into heaven. I will sit on the throne of God. I want to be God. I want everything that's God's. And, but that's not all. And this is where our fight is. I will also sit upon the mount of the congregation on the sides of the north the Bible says that Zion is on the sides of the north Lucifer said I want that mountain and I want the congregation because the word for sit I will sit on this mountain, he says. Do you know what that word means in Hebrew? It means to marry. I want those seeds to be my bride. I want these spirits to be mine. These are the ones that God called and chose for the bride of his son this is Mount Zion oh. this is the bridal mountain oh. this is the congregation of the highest oh. this is the high call of God oh. 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 hallelujah oh. there is no higher calling than this mountain God says I have chosen to dwell on Zion this is my dwelling place forever hallelujah these stones living stones of fire were all the spirits that had yet to come to this earth take on a body and choose hallelujah these spirits were all the spirits that had the name of the Lord and the call of God God placed upon the altar. God went through eternity. And he said, I choose you. And I choose you. And I choose you. And I call my name over you. Praise God, many called. But few chosen. And so God called this and chose this elect. So God wanted this whole The Bible talks about the elect. Where did the Lord say he would want them? Those are the ones. Hey, the day. Lucifer wanted. So Lucifer will be held. He said, I want to sit on that mountain. I want my throne there. I want to rule there. I want to marry. In other words, I want those wills to take my will. Now, why do you suppose that the closer you get to the presence of God, the greater the battle. Why do you suppose that the closer you get to your eternal inheritance, the more the fight becomes. Let me tell you something. Lucifer's not fighting for the world. Lucifer He's already got the world. He 
He is the prince of the power of the air. Han är hövdingen i hervalden och luften. He already rules in government. Han rör sig över långt. He's already got the world following him in absolute deceit. Well, a high man of hinging on along with fourth corner. The word of God says he deceives the whole world. Oh, God sees the source of the heim. That's not where his fight is. He's just he had about that. He's already got the world. How are you long? He's captivated the world. Han är hinging. The fight today. Fight day in the day. It's not about the world. Snus ju som är nå. It's about God's people. Snus ju Guds fall. The fight is about the church. The war is about taking God's people down. Because Lucifer did not get that mountain in eternity past. So he says, okay, I'm going to get it now. I did not get to join my will. Yes, not bitch at some I know when you're moving. To the will of in those living seeds. Will you just live on the sand on top? You say, well, I don't remember any of that. Yeah, it means shut my door. We're talking about eternity. We toss on Elvin like us. There was an eternity before. Det har varit en evolution som var åldern. And there is an eternity after. Och det kommer en evolution som är åtta månader. And when time is finished. Och det tog en hel elio. Time when. Det tog en hel färd från. It started here. Det började här. From eternity. Från evolution nu. And time is going to. Och det tog en hel färd från stem. Back to eternity. Hade åtta vi in the end like. And when you get back to eternity, there will be no past. Everything will be present. In God's presence, there is no past. In God's presence, there is no future. In God's presence, everything is. God knows all. Good by now. Sees all, has all. So when we come back to eternity, future, we are back to eternity past. So if we fast after the Almighty, you will remember all. Or try for the minimum of all that here, because you won't be in the past. So to where fast is you first to end? You won't be in the future. So to where where hence you from to end? You will be in the presence of God. To where to near where new to in the abode, which is now. So in new. Isn't that a powerful thought? God is God of now. God is a new God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm trying to encourage you. Iranian Aicha Dekom. That in this restoration. We enter Rashnina. Of the tabernacle of David. In coming back to claim your eternal inheritance in God. At the time after or open that here, can all gods, all the all gods. There's going to be a war. So far, I've been a crunch. And if there's worship, or the tin being with your war, same with the crunch for long. You're going to get it. You can get through. But what I'm seeing, and I've seen a lot, we've traveled a lot, we've been to many countries, many churches, spoken to a lot of people, what I'm seeing in this generation is that the fight has gotten too much for some. And they don't want to pay the price for pressing through. So it's easier to join the crowd than to be the salmon swimming up the stream. 
It's easy to turn around and go with the flow. Nimmer det bara vända om och fära oh, flow so Let's just go where everybody. Skulle vi bara fära här som att hinna fära? Let's do what everybody. Skulle vi göra det här som att hinna göra? Let's join the religious world. Skulle bara samma kan vi göra? Because that way we can be unified and everybody can live happily ever after. Och vi kan bara vara allt samma och leva allt lycka. And in the meantime, I have to compromise. So my compromise. My convictions. I've got to compromise. My destiny. I've got to compromise the call of God. To go where He has called me to go. And to reach that eternal destiny that He has set before my eyes. And I decided, my wife and I both, we decided when it, it seemed like our whole world was coming down around The church world we belong to started to shake and to crumble. The foundation started to shake. We saw that fall down. And just fall down. And that fall down. And that fall down. It's like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, what's going on? And we made a decision. We talk about the And I will make it again. We pray that I never tell. And I will make it again. And I will, again. And I will not compromise. And if you can my vision. Yes. Yeah. I will not compromise. My stand for God. I stand for God. I will not compromise. For sake. For the sake of. If any should come to walk over me, feel it better, feel feel it, feel some mind means it. With the religious world, some mind has been there, turned into us. I won't do it. If Jared, I haven't done it. You have just done. I won't do it. If Jared should do that, I would rather stand alone. Oh, Mr. Skastan, the answer is my Jesus. Yes, I would rather fight alone. If I had the biggest answer, my dear. And get to His presence. And call out the answer and never be with the whole crowd. And be void of the presence of God. Yes, yes. That's how I feel. What is there in this world for me to live for? If you live for something that you would not die for, so to each the thought of it. You're living for the wrong. So live the fear to sky. I want to live for something. You will live a fear in the crown. That I will die. So you will live a thought of fear. That's when you know. The time to watch. That what you live for. That doesn't live a fear. Has value. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you willing to die? Are you willing to die? To yourself. To the shoulder. Are you willing to get off the throne and place him in his place in your existence? What is the price you are willing to pay to fight through to, uh, to go back to your inheritance? So let's look here. All these seeds have come down. It will come in the year. God has placed them in humans' uh, uh, bodies. God has said to society, "We men shall live on." We are the living stones, the, the fiery stones we, of God. We the earth shall live on the bread of the stone of God. That God is now putting together. So God said the same man and building big picture up to be this living. At vera het a liv ande temple. This living tabernacle of God. Het a liv ande tabernacle Guds. On Zion. On Zion. All returning back. Or we fell out after. To where we came from. Here we come from. All returning back. We fell out after. To the breath of life that gave us life. To the ande drachten som gav oss namn. Back to our inheritance. After the arvokar. Back to our origin. After the uproma okar. God is good. Am I making any sense? Oh yes. I'm trying to make it 
as simple as possible, as simple as a Sunday school lesson. While I'm leaving out a lot of issues. But I'm just trying to give you a, a, a enough to give, give you an understanding that don't be shocked that as you make a, a, a choice to step up higher to draw closer to God. Someone said to me the other day well you know I've made this choice to, to you know really press in and draw closer to God. But, but pastor Ever since I did that, because when they turned the town, oh hell's broken loose. So Everything's gone wrong. Ah, they didn't you get it? And I said, "We say, oh, that's good. Have to go. That's good. Have to hurt to go. What do you mean? How many do I have to go? It's horrible. Perfectly. I said, oh no. I said, no, no. That means I'm you are stepping back. That is two years after. Du stod i rätt att ta steg. En plats där Lucifer alltid vantar. Vi har haft steg som Lucifer alltid vill ta. Nej, 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 I wanted you in eternity past. I couldn't get you. But I'm going to get you. And I'm going to no. squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to He would say that. <laughs> but I'm going to squeeze the life out of you. <laughs> and I'm going to join and twine you with my will. <laughs> I'm going to put thoughts in your <laughs> mind. <laughs> and desires in your heart. And you go like this. Like, I haven't thought like this since the day I got saved. Why am I thinking like this? Why am I wanting to do these things? And it's not really even you. There's something that's been put inside of you to prevent you from going to your destiny. That's the time. War and worship. He will use you in your church to die. I've seen many do that. He can cause you to be so busy for the kingdom of God that you don't take care of your own soul. That's what the bride said in the Song of Solomon. 
I've kept everybody's vineyard. <laughs> but my own vineyard, <laughs> I have not kept. <laughs> so there are many ways <laughs> that this opposing power can come to you. Just remember this. Whatever takes your vision of Jesus is your opposing force. If it takes your vision away of the throne of God and establishing his kingdom in your life, even if it is church, and you're being fought. So, so stand it over again. Glory to God. I feel burdened for this generation. Yeah, for the abuse of this yacht. You're in a generation where it's difficult to be young people. Young people fight battles in the world that. We older people never fought. Everywhere you turn in the digital scene and all the modern technologies, everything is geared to taking minds away from God. I feel burdened for the generation that was. A generation that experienced God, that experienced the power of God, and today they wander in spiritual wilderness. And we ask why? What happened? What has happened to God's people? Why have we become so weak? One of the reasons, and I could stay here a number of months and talk about these reasons. But one of the reasons we have compromised. We have compromised. Instead of standing. Thank you, Lord. I want to stand. God is calling people tonight. Good here, here, and all around the world. There is a voice, an inspired word. That is going out to the dead bones. And those who have that name called upon them are hearing. They are hearing the inspiration. They are recognizing the vision. The and the vision. The shaking is beginning to take place. There is a shaking taking place in some of you this week. Where something is going on down here. Something is like it's awakening. It's coming alive. Oh, this, is oh, this is your season. It's your season to step up and say, God, here I am. I choose you. I choose the way. I choose the vision. I choose to go. I choose to be real. I choose to stand. I choose to war. And I choose to worship. Your holy name. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabbi Kashyap, Rabbi Suri, Rabbi Suta, Rabbi Kadha. Lord of God, I worship you. I worship you. I worship you.
Can you all just please for a second just raise your hands to God. Worship Him for a few moments. Lift up your eyes. Lift up your hearts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands up in His presence. Say, Jesus, here I am. I long for you. I hunger after you. I hunger for your presence. I hunger for my inheritance. I hunger for Zion. I hunger for that call of God to be fulfilled in my life. Come on, tell me, tell me tonight. I hunger for you. I hunger for you. Jesus. Oh, Praise you, Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Go to the, get your guitar, sing like you were singing in the beginning of the service. Those are songs of what I want. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Thanks, God. Tonight, I want to pray for everybody who wants to make that vision a reality. If, if, if you say that's me, I understand what you're saying because I felt the struggle. I felt the war in my life. But I hunger for God. I hunger for His presence. I hunger to know Him in a way that I've never known Him. I hunger for His call to be fulfilled in my life. There are people sitting in this little space this evening. For years you have felt this call. But it's not going anywhere. There's just a call. But there's never been an appropriate response. Tonight give your response. Say God here I am. Here I am. I want to be a warrior worshiper. And I want you to rebuild that tabernacle of David in me. Where I will be a living stone. Carrying your presence. I will be a temple of God carrying your presence. How is the world going to see Jesus if they do not see him in you oh, how is the world going to be touched by the hand of God if it's not your hand touching it hallelujah God has a call on so many of your precious hearts tonight my wife and I will be waiting right here uh, ready to pray for you Dampen the lights just a little bit so people can feel free. You can, you can sit there and worship. I don't care what you do.